I just want to give a shout out to the mini bike gang on uh, YouTube here who shares all the aftermarket things and performance upgrades and this that's and everything you do to your mini bike and then you post a video of it and share it with all of us that is absolutely awesome you guys are outstanding you got me motivated by watching these videos you got me motivated on your dirt track your ice racing you're changing that engine and cams and carburetors and adding an exhaust and bigger better tires and clutches and chains and throttles everything you guys do that is absolutely awesome god bless all you you are great because you know we only live once and to enjoy something like this again at my wonderful older age is just a blessing to <laughs> Because when I was a kid, I had a mini bike, and believe me, that thing was a pile of dog crap, man. That thing caught on fire. We call it Scooter Magooter. I think I wrote a song. I was in fourth grade. But I never had one that was nice because of that thing. And I just said, screw it. So I never got into it. But I got regular dirt bikes. I got YZ250, KX250s, Banshees, Quad Racers, Quadzillas. I got all that stuff. But this thing is just different. You know, you're looking at a different ride, and it's a blast. You can enjoy it, have fun. It looks funny when you're just ripping on them. So once again, everybody out there in the community, thank you. Thank you for all your videos. I'm going to like and subscribe to all of yours when I see them. So please do the same for me, because I'm going to work on this thing. I did this morning pick up a 224 engine as well. My friend... Uh, that I work with wanted one for his daughter's go-kart and I said well shoot I looked at that compared it to the 212 that was sitting next to it and saw that the mounting and everything is uh, the same so I figured well heck I'll grab one of them too and uh, I did why not it was on sale 159 bucks so I'm gonna put that on but until then I, I went ahead and uh, did the little governor drill out right here or from the screw I drilled that head of that screw out of here right there because it's welded in so I drilled the head off and then I was able to get a pair of needle nose in there and just turn it until that screw came completely out but make sure when you drill it you put something under there to catch any metal shavings you could even put a magnet there put the head of your shop vac there whatever you want you know but look at that it goes all that way Poof. And I didn't put the zip tie on the spring yet down here. I have yet to try that. Uh, it's a tight spot to get at. And, you know, I figure I'll just wait. I tried it like this, and it, it made a difference. I think I got a few more miles per hour. How many? I don't know. I didn't GPS it on my phone, but I was able to notice the difference just by getting that screw out. So pretty impressive. I can imagine that 224 is just going to make this thing really scoot. And spend a few hundred bucks more on everything else that's needed a clutch and chain and the uh upgrade kit for that 224 but i don't know if i'm gonna go all that hog wild on it i'll probably just get a clutch and chain and throw that 224 on there and rock it for a little while and uh i noticed a video though that somebody was sharing that showed a lot of metal shavings in the bottom of their engine so that's kind of concerning. I see they got uh, drain plugs out there with magnets on them, so I'm going to look into doing that. I saw that they have a nylon gear on the cam. That's not too uh, satisfying, but heck, man, anybody got any tips or advice or anything you want to share with me, please go ahead, say it in the comments. I look forward to it. I'm going to get this thing all decked up, though, and I'll get it to go as fast as I can for next winter because right down the road we got an ice oval track that gets plowed out and these guys are running full-blown motorcycles out there but you know they're, eh, some are probably professional some may not be but I think from what I've seen on videos the guys on these on the ice on these minis these Coleman's and what have you the Bajas they're moving faster than them full-size motorcycles <laughs> so I want to do that I'm gonna do that and uh rip it up man but thanks again god bless all you pray for everybody and everything that's going on in this world right now and hopefully make it through another day and 
many more after that. Take care.